Hello again, Terry Bailey, Senior Minister of Indian Run Christian Church. And uh, this week I want to share a little bit with you about God using times of trouble to advance His people, His church in this era. Let me start with the scripture from the first chapter of the prophet Zechariah, beginning with verse 7 and going through verse 12. On the 24th day of the 11th month, which is the month Shabbat, in the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to Zechariah the prophet, the son of Berechiah, the son of Iddo, as follows. I saw at night, and behold, a man was riding a red horse, and he was standing among the myrtle trees which were in the ravine with red sorrel and white horses behind him. Then I said, My Lord, What are these? And the angel who was speaking with me said to me, I will show you what these are. And the man who was standing among the myrtle trees answered and said, These are those whom the Lord has sent to patrol the earth. So they answered the angel of the Lord who was standing among the myrtle trees and said, We have patrolled the earth, and behold, all the earth is peaceful and quiet. Then the angel of the Lord said, O Lord of hosts, how long will you have no compassion for Jerusalem and the cities of Judah, with which you have been indignant these seventy years? It's an odd little situation and probably needs a little bit of explanation. The seventy years were the seventy years of the Babylonian captivity And the Israelites had been held in captivity and slavery all this time. An end was approaching, according to the prophecy that Jeremiah had made when the captivity began, 70 years, and they would come back home. But no one saw exactly how this was to be accomplished. Now, it had been times of trouble when the Israelites were taken captive by Babylon And there had been lots of trouble going on in the years immediately following empire, conquering empire. But the Persian Empire had come out on top and they had been secure for quite some time now. The angels and the horsemen have this conversation. What do you see when you patrol the earth? Peace, peace, nothing but peace. And the response is, peace, I was really hoping for something else. How long, O Lord? Will you continue to be indignant with us as you have been these 70 years? It was understood that as it had been a time of unsettled war and conflict that had taken the children of Israel into captivity, it would be another time of unsettled war and conflict that would send them back home. But no shadow of war was seen. The Persian Empire felt no pressure, and had no reason to consider changing their ways. If you keep reading in the prophecy of Zechariah, the moment comes when the horsemen are told to ride and involve themselves in the events which turn out to be the rising of the power of the Greek Empire, which will threaten the Persians, and the Persians under that pressure will feel the need to send the Israelites home to occupy a buffer for them in the face of the Greek advance. And so when this new time of trouble fell upon the Persian Empire, the Israelites were released from captivity. That's a little bit of a long explanation to get us where we need to be, but understand that God moved his people and his purposes forward in a time of great trouble and violence and bloodshed. This is not because God is violent and bloodthirsty, but because these are the things that happen in the fallen world. And God makes use of them to advance his plan. As we enter a time of trouble, uncertainties, and tribulation, I would like the church to keep this thought in mind. These are the moments of opportunity, and again, it's not that we wish for there to be trouble on the world, but we understand 
that the church has historically advanced in times of trouble, when people are made uncomfortable and the world around them no longer seems to satisfy them or to provide for them security. There is an opportunity for the kingdom to advance. And I hope the church steps into the gap and presses forward in this time of trouble. If you would pray with me. Father God, I just pray that you ease our fears and that you give us a, a vision that understands the opportunity that exists right now for a church that has become perhaps too comfortable in this world to reach forward to a people who have become too comfortable in this world and to turn their eyes to your kingdom and the world to come. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.